Hey guys, welcome to my uh, herb farming guide. Uh, this is a revised version of my last one. Uh, okay, so what you see on screen now is what your inventory should look like. Uh, before you go for a farming run, of course, the pie there is just so I can boost to do uh, the fell stalks, which is what I like to plant. Okay, so what we have here is what you should be wearing. Uh, I'm going to go through all the things going from the top down. Okay, so now we have the Green Fingers Aura. It provides a 3% chance of increasing the crop yield and it prevents disease from the patch that you have planted for 20 minutes, which is convenient um, because herbs grow in stints of 20 minutes, four of them in fact, so it's 80 minutes. And the aura lasts for 20 minutes while active and an hour cooldown. That adds to 80 minutes. Perfect time for your farming runs. Okay, so next we have the Juju Mask or the Juju's Teleport Spirit Bag. They basically just teleport you to the Herbal Habitat. Next we have the Ard uh, the Arty Capes. Uh, the one on the left is the Arty Cape 3, the one on the right is the Arty Cape 4. The number 3 can teleport to the farming patches once a day, whereas the 4 can teleport you there unlimitedly. Okay, so now we have the Magic Secateurs. They basically just give you 10% extra crops for anything that you pick with them. Alright, now we have the Fallow shield, Shields 1, uh, 2, 3, and 4. Although there's only 2 uh, displayed, I could not find a decent image for number 2. They basically give you 10% XP when you farm at the Draenor Village uh, farming patch. Okay, on screen now is the Explorer's Ring 3 and 4. They give you an unlimited teleport to the Cabbage Field, which is just south of the Draenor uh, farming patches. Okay, now with the herbs that you want to be planting, uh, we have Toad Flax. Uh, the farming requirement is 32. Um, it costs 1.8k for a seed. A grimy herb will sell for 2.8k. You get 42... XP for planting it and you get 38 for harvesting it. Uh, it's usually used in Sarabrews, that's why the price is so high. Uh, nextly, and that nextly is not a word. R okay, now we have Ranars. The seeds cost 3, um, 3.4 K. The herbs grimy will sell for 2.4 K. Uh, you get 27 XP for planting it and you get 30 for harvesting it. And they are mainly used in prayer potions, which are used by so many people, it's not funny. Okay, the next one we have is Fellstalk. You can buy a seed for 3.1k. The herbs will sell for one, just over 1k each. You get uh, 250 XP for planting it and 315 for harvesting it. If you do that run every 80 minutes, you get about 15k XP. Seeing as you can do that 14 times a day, that's nearly 300k XP a day, although I don't know any uh, son of a bitch who would actually do 14 farm herb runs a day and get out of their way and get up in the middle of the night to do them. But anyway, um, now on to me actually doing the run, showing you how to do it. All the information I've said is on screen, so uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay guys, so the first part of our run is Morkela Mushrooms. They have a farming requirement of 75 to plant. They take four hours to grow. Uh, to get there, the way I go is by dialing CKS on a fairy ring, or um, you can teleport to the Slayer Tower with a Slayer ring and just run south. Uh, they give 77 XP for harvesting them, and they give 160 XP for planting. If you've done the Mauritania Diaries 2, uh, you they don't get disease, so you don't have to put fertilizer on them, and they'll never die. And if you've done the elite, like I have, you will get 18 instead of 9. They sell for roughly 6k each, and if you've done the, the which is about 60k for, if you haven't done the elite, and 120 if you do, have done the elite. Um, so the next part of our run is. Uh, the ne is running from uh, is running to our first patch, which is in Trollheim. Uh, usually, you do this one first because it is the longest from the teleport zone, unless you have done got the uh, lunar spell teleport to Trollheim, which teleports you pretty much next to the patch. But I hate Livid Farm for all it's worth, so we can suck a dick, and I haven't done it, so I just run. Uh, as you can see, you just run down the mountain. Uh, you get a little bit of agility XP for this, and. Uh, for some reason I ran... Oh yeah, I forgot um, the runes, which I would have mentioned early in this guide. And basically you just run up the ramp. Up the... Yes, up the ramp. There we go. Um, in the doorway, 
which is here. Uh, you go past the trolls. If you're a lower level, you might want to protect melee. If not, you can just wear some decent gear. You don't really need to run that much. The teleports aren't that far, so uh, teleporting isn't that much. I mean, run energy isn't really that much of a problem. If it really is, just buy an energy potion. They're 12 GP for a four dose. I think they have been for about ever. And uh, you just run through this door. If it's not open, usually it is open because other people are doing herb runs. But if it's not, you just run down there and go up the weathered uh, staircase thingy. Actually, no, ladder. And... Your teleport will take you just next to those rocks. Uh, at this moment, you want to uh, juju farming potion, uh, your green fingers aura, and if you need to boost, uh, eat your garden pie. Um, and you just click on the patch and collect the herbs. Uh, the next part, basically, all you do is yeah, you just um, pick them, and if your inventory starting to get full, just uh, use the herbs on that leprechaun like I did a second ago uh, use the fertilize uh, the super fertilized spell and plant a seed then commence to teleport to the ectophil I mean the yes the ectofungus using the ectophil rather um, just let it fill itself uh, if you don't you're gonna have a trouble getting here because it really is a bitch I mean the only way to get here is either a charter ship or a fairing and you just run uh, west past the farm and past the farm there will be some farming allotments and our second herb patch um, basically just do what you do for the other patches you sit there and you pick them uh, and as usual you just use it on the little leprechaun guy if its inventory starts getting full because if your inventory starts getting full uh, and you only have one spot left, you can have the potential to get two herbs, you won't get the two herbs. Fertilize the patch, use the seed, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and then you want to teleport, no, you don't want to bring out your curses, you want to teleport using your cabbage port on your explorer's ring, three or four, and go to this place here. The north gate will always be open, so you've got no worries, you just run straight through. Um, collect your herbs like you have at the last two patches. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this at this area place, if you have a Falad or Shield uh, three or four on, you will get an XP boost. And if you see down in the chat bar now, you'll see those yellow messages. I've honestly never seen so many in one place. But um, it basically is just your aura saying you've got another um, bit of produce. Whoop de fucking do. Um, you know, it's not really that great. It's one extra herb, you don't get XP for it. And if you're planting fell stalks, it's not really that useful. If you're planting torsals or one of the money making ones, it's a bit better. Okay, so now you want to teleport to um, Cathaby. You can bring in teleport f um, runes to Cathaby. I honestly don't because, you know, uh, I don't really like bringing more than I need and I like getting free stuff. So basically, just teleport over and you head northwest over to the patches and do what you have for the last three patches and it's pretty uh, self-explanatory if you need to boost boost again like I did there and you just do it and then there's that person who talked to me I didn't want to be antisocial but when you're recording you really don't have time to reply to people and yeah it's just pretty this is really just self-explanatory what you do now um guess what when you start getting full you use it on a little leprechaun I didn't think you'd know that, guys. And, uh, okay, so now, um, I'm just using these to clear out the inventory for a sec. Uh, you want to teleport with your Ardor Ring Cloak um, for three or four. You only get one teleport with a three, you get unlimited with the four. And the four is very nice to have, because the last time I did this, I only had the three. And I had to wait a whole day to do the um, to get this part of the clip. And uh, you just harvest crops here, you know, do whatever. And uh, then... Your, you cut the video, like I did, because you forgot to bring your herbal habitat seeds, and that was a fairly small patch, I only got a few, but, uh, yeah, you notice a jump in the clip, it's not much, it's just me going to the bank, and then I go get t two of my herbal habitat seeds, so you didn't notice anything, did you? You wouldn't have noticed I had not told you, and you teleport with your uh, witch doctor mask, to the herbal habitat, and if you don't have one of those, you just use a juju spirit bag and uh, run south over the wall thingy, uh, the vine thing. And that person had been trying to get my hunter spot for like the whole day. I'd been there for nearly three and a half hours, and they'd just been sitting there waiting. It's like an old person just like waiting to get your car park.
It's annoying. And anyway, these ones you can't use on the leprechaun to get them noted. Uh, they're locks in the South Notifice. And then you just further plant to your vine. I mean, up the vine, over it, over the short bit, down, around. And you start harvesting the other one. And once that's harvested, you just teleport off and do what you want. Make your potions into unfinished, clean them off get that little bit of XP. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed watching me do this, um, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, there is a link in the bottom right hand uh, corner of the screen over our watermark, our channel picture watermark. Uh, you can click that to go to a subscribe page. Um, but before you go there, leave us a like to let us know that you liked it. And um, comment if I've missed anything somewhere along the line. Uh, really is nice when people uh, mention, say like, Oh look, you've missed this. Constructive criticism is always nice. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 